guys, it's Spoopy from the YouTube channel and blog Poop and Booby Life. So today I want to show you guys, uh, share some tips that I did in my own house to preserve the food from your own garden. It is basically saving money. So let's start with the first tip, which is the most common, which is canning. Tomato sauce is, the, I think it's the number one thing that everybody does to preserve the tomatoes from the garden. And we did the same. What we like to do, we like to do two kinds of tomato sauce, one with meat and the other one basically vegetarian. So we do have two kinds of tomato sauce ready to go. Just need to warm it up. And I can tell you guys the amount that we normally do, it lasts us a year and a half. So I basically just finished the last mason jar this month from 2018 so it's more than a year and a half anyway so Kenny is first one what I like to do because it's easy for me and we all have a busy life a lot of people just like to put the veggies or uh, inside Kenny and leave it there but I like to preserve food ready to go so my eggplant my tomatoes my sweet peppers, onions, garlic, I did a eggplant and a pasto. So whenever you're having a security night with wine, you can invite friends, you have already eggplant and a pasto to go with your toast, with your crackers. And you can do the same uh, with the cherry tomatoes. So our cherry tomatoes, I did bruschetta. So bruschetta, it's, it's also something very quick. You just take a bunch of the cherry tomatoes, put in a tray in the oven with olive oil, garlic, and whatever seasoning and spices that you want. And you just can do the canning process. Put inside the can, mason jars, it will seal. You have bruschetta for whenever you want. So um, those are the kind of things that I like to have it ready. Also, lots of herbs you basically have two options right here for herbs one is let them dry so you can do your own seasoning and the second one is to freeze them as kind of like you know quinoa seasoning but you do your own which is much healthier um, it's real food and there is not a lot of salt so I did lots of seasoning ice cubes, so we bought a bunch of olive oil that were on sale at Walmart. Uh, the brand is Gallo, by the way. They're always on sale, so in case you guys live here in Canada and you have a Walmart there, just go. Try to find olive oil from the brand Gallo, because they're always on sale. It's like $5 a liter, so we bought a bunch to do those kind of seasonings. So I chopped a bunch of seasoning there cover with olive oil, put in ice cubes, and now I have ready to go whenever I wanna cook. I just grab the ice cube, throw in the pan, and it's ready to go. Oh yeah, and salt, but not that much as quinoa. Um, you can do the same with herbs. So I love mint. So with mint, I dry part of the mint in my lemon balm, and the other part I, in, I put in ice cubes. So whenever I feel like having a nice Coke, very cold i just put my favorite ice cube with mint inside already and the other part as you guys already know i did my white vinegar product if you haven't checked it's below uh in the description the veggies too so i did it with uh, sweet corn so it's ready to go whenever i want to use corn it's there in my freezer but you can do the same with uh some kind of veggies like broccolis cauliflower Carrots, all you have to do is before you actually put them in the freezer, you have to scare them in boiled water. So you chop them in the size that you want, put in the pan with boiling water, leave it there for like two minutes, take it out, put inside uh, plastic bags that can go in the freezer and it's ready to go. You have your own frozen veggie bag. You can do that with strawberries, grapes, 
same goes for for your smoothies that's a great way to also preserve uh, your food also I did some jam grape jam because I don't have the skill enough to make my own wine but the father of my boyfriend he has so we do have a bunch of grape wine duh it is made of grape but we do have a bunch of wine from the grape so if you have the talent do your own wine and if you don't do the grape jam like I did okay so jams are also a nice way to preserve all the fruits and etc and potatoes we do have a Portuguese recipe that we call kale soup and it's so good and that's a wonderful way to preserve your food you prepare the meal you prepare a batch of kale soup which is basically potato I will give you guys a recipe soon because I'm, I'm about to make it split in containers leave in the freezer when you're really lazy in a cold winter don't want to do anything just grab the, the pot the container with soup and you eat it easy peasy right so you can do the same with chili uh, we did chili too so we like to do chili and the kale soup because those are two things that it preserves in the freezer and it's easy to eat and I guess that's it guys we love you don't forget to subscribe for this nice channel that is struggling to make your life easier okay bye